Hey everybody, this is Josh with Down to the Roots, and it's time to make another batch of my dry worm food. So I figured I'd just make a real quick video on what I use in it, just how I mix it up and everything. But basically, I have all my ingredients right here. It's got four ingredients in it. Now the first ingredient is whole wheat flour. It doesn't matter what brand you get in all this stuff, but there is a few key things you need to look for whenever you're purchasing the ingredients to make your dry worm food. And what I look for, number one, you don't want your cornmeal or your flour to be self-rising. You don't want any added chemicals. You want to just find as close to its natural state as possible. But this is all natural whole wheat flour. The only ingredient is whole wheat flour. The next ingredient in my mix is yellow cornmeal. It's just plain yellow cornmeal. You can use white cornmeal but I like to use the yellow for some reason and I could find it with no added ingredients. This does have, like, it's enriched so it's got extra vitamins and stuff but it's nothing chemical wise that's actually going to hurt your worms. But the main ingredient is de-germed yellow cornmeal. So that's just plain cornmeal. The next ingredient is 100% whole grain rolled oats. Just your regular breakfast oatmeal. You can buy this big container pretty cheap. But what I do is I take this little coffee grinder and you get these at any dollar store for like 10 $12. So they're fairly cheap. You can use a food processor or a blender even, but I have found that these little grinders do a whole lot better job. But basically I just grind it up in that coffee grinder into a fine powder. That way the worms can get at it quicker. And the last ingredient is oyster shells. It's just all natural ground oyster shells. It's like powdered up. You can use eggshells. I have used them before in the past. But you have to wash them out real good so there's no egg in them. And you have to dry them out and then grind them up in your spice grinder. It's a little more work than I want to do. So I do purchase the ground oyster shells. But this is a six pound box. And I've used it several times and it still has a ton in it. That's the only purpose, that's the only thing I use this for is to make this mix. So I mean, in the long run, I would rather do that. But like I said, you can use eggshells. I have used them before in the past. But my eggshells, I just dry them out, crush them up, and throw them in my compost or in my mulch layer of the garden and everything. But basically what I do is I mix it up in this empty coffee container here. It's a real, it keeps, it has a real nice lid, keeps it good and dry so no moisture gets to it. But it's just a real good way to repurpose these oak containers. I use them for all kinds of stuff. For you, anything you need a lid for, I mean you can use them for uh, scoops for animal feeds. Just real good way to repurpose them, keeps them out of the landfill. But what I do here is I take one cup each of these three ingredients and a half a cup of my oyster shells. So I've got one cup of my rolled oats already ground up into a powder. Put that in there. <clears throat> then I take one cup of my whole wheat flour. And like I said, you can use white flour it does have the bleach in it, but it really don't—it really don't hurt them that bad. But this has more minerals and stuff in it, which makes your food a little bit better for the worms, and in the long run, makes your worm castings better. The reason I use this is for one, it gives them more vitamins and minerals and stuff than just regular food scraps does. They really seem to love the grain. I don't know why, but they really love the grain and they can get at it. Just as soon as it gets wet, they can eat it. Some food scraps or most food scraps has to break down before you can actually, before the worms can actually eat it. So this gives them a little something to gnaw on before the food scraps break down. But the reason I put the eggshells or the oyster shells in it is there's a couple different reasons, a couple different roles that it does in this mix. One, it gives them grip for their gizzard. Helps them break down their uh, food in their gizzards. And two, it gives them calcium to help with reproduction and uh, cocoon production. Cocoon production. 
and the last reason I use it is because it has the calcium in it so it helps buffer your pH in your worm beds. Uh, it's, not, it's not uniform in size so there is bigger pieces of the shell in it in the same way if you blend it up yourself or grind it up yourself and use eggshells. It has bigger pieces in it that take longer to break down so it helps buffer your pH in your worm beds. Now most food scraps, I do feed my worms food scraps, but most food scraps tend to be a little acidic as they break down, so this kind of helps them to just uh, helps to uh, buffer the pH in your bed. But you can see it's a pretty fine powder, it has bigger chunks in it, but that's my last ingredient. Like I said, one cup each of these and a half a cup oyster shells. But then all I do is I... Uh, Mix it around with my fork real good, stir it up, and I just feed it to my bed. But I've got a video of how I feed my worms and how I use this in the worm bed and stuff. I'll post up in the corner here somewhere. But basically, I just pull all the bedding back, put me about a quarter cup of this on top of the bedding, dust it on there, and then I put my food scraps and I put a live food mix or live bedding in it like aged horse manure or compost and then I will put another quarter cup of this. Now the two beds I have have a four square foot feeding area so that is a two by two area that I feed them so in that area I'm giving them a half a cup of this each time I feed them which is roughly about a week but like I said I've got a video on how I use this and how I feed it to my worms that I will post on this video and down in the comment box but it's pretty well it it works really good I've used it for a while now the worms seem to really love it but just thanks for watching like this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions just leave them in the comment box below thanks for watching bye